Hello everyone, this is Cars, Plans and Games with our first car review. Today we have here a 2013 Lincoln MKS. This Lincoln MKS is the second generation. This is the beginning of the second generation. The generations went from 2013 to 2016. And the, it was replaced by the Lincoln Continental, which the Lincoln Continental is no longer being made anymore. This Ford has completely canceled all their cars, except for the Mustang, and I think one or two others. Not exactly sure which one. If anybody knows exactly which one, feel free to leave a comment. But today we're gonna review this car inside and out. Go over what we know about the car and what we feel is good and what we feel is bad. If anybody wants to know a little bit more information, please feel free to comment and ask and we will do our best that we can to get the information to you. But today, this is a 2013 Lincoln MKS. And we will start inside the car. Here we go. Okay everyone, this Lincoln MKS, they make two packages of the Lincoln MKS. They have a base model and then they have a premium model, which it's specified by a specific number, but I don't know off the top of my head. The base model does not have the wood paneling here on the side. Or around the dash. The wood paneling is on every single door. And on certain base models, it does not have a light up Lincoln emblem like this one does. This Lincoln model as well as the other Lincoln MKS's have touch sensitive dash buttings. The touch sensitive buttings are a good feature. They do have their problems which a lot of people that own these cars are not very happy with those problems. Unfortunately, Lincoln does not make this dash anymore. So any ones that you need to replace, you have to get a remanufactured one. And it's not always the good thing. Got two cup holders. Remote start, push. This one does not have the adaptive cruise control. That is the only thing that this one does not have. It has every other option that comes with it except for the adaptive cruise control. It has the panoramic sunroof. One in the front, one in the back. It does have this pillar here separating the panoramic sunroof. It does have rear view dim mirror and driver mirror. This does have the THX certified surround system, 16 speakers. Now Lincoln does not have an agreement with THX anymore. They come out with their own speaker system, which is uh, Revel, I think it is, but that what I will double check and I'll let y'all know. All right, we will go ahead and start the car so everyone sees how the dash lights up when we start. Put your foot on the brake and push the button. It has all display different ones. You have your RPMs, your fuel, temperature, how much still empty. You can go to the side, you can do your trip, just like any other car, your fuel economy. Fuel economy does say 21.8. We have been averaging about 24 as of late. Different settings. So we have a bunch of different drivers assist, your traction control, your blind spot monitoring. Your blind spot monitoring has the dots in the window. So if I turn the, tracks, the blind spot off, that way you can actually see it reset itself. And then you turn it back on, it'll flash one more time.
drive control. It's just different handlings. Cross traffic alert. That's where when you're backing up, if somebody comes from the left or the right, it'll let you know. And it dings at you a lot and it does get annoying. Front park aid, it does have parking sensors on the front, which we will show whenever we get back to the front to do the engine bay. Lane keep assist. The lane keep assist, that's actually a button that's down here. Let me put it in. Get the gear shift out the way. This is a lane keep assist. And it has auto park. Auto park, that's for if you're pulling up to parallel park, the car will park itself for you. We have not tried it, but it is a feature on this car. We're a park aid, and that's all the driver assist. It does have my key. My keys that way if you have more than one key, if you have any children that drive your car, you can set it up to where it only has a certain sp speed limit to go to, the volume controls, RPM, it only goes to a certain RPM, stuff of that nature. Displays, just your different gauges and units, there's the metrics. And then information tells you about the car right now. We got system check because we have two we have two doors open. And then driver alert, which is something that all fours have been doing lately. And then your my key, which is what we were talking about. So we'll go back to display mode. So over here, you have your driver climate control. You can control the speed, the fans, the temperature, and everything of your climate control. Your navigation system, you can change your phones and your entertainment. We like to leave it on climate control. So moving over to the dash. This is Ford's Sync 2. Now they call it My Lincoln Touch, but it's basically Ford. It's Sync 2 is what it is. Even though they call it My Lincoln Touch, they got the Sync badge in here. So it does go over all the detailed options as far as what you can do. You have your navigation, phone connection, music, and your heat and AC. Now this does have heated seats which is this button this is a driver section right here this is a passenger just have heated seats cooled seats AC seats and a heated steering wheel which are wonderful I love the the cooled seats heated seats we don't I don't use that much but I love the cool seats, especially in the summertime here in Georgia now if we look down here it's, it's in a console it does have a cover for your cup holders and just slide it back this does come out and this you keep it for change <laughs> but this button right here is actually a sunshade okay so if you push this button push the button sunshade comes up push it again sunshade goes down nifty little feature so we'll close that back it's got a decent size glove box we got mask in it COVID obviously you like to keep a couple around um, we got the manual and napkins and stuff of that nature you are able to lock this with a key this right here is just a very small Storage is probably the length of, of, of your finger. It's not deep at all. It's very small. But these buttons, I said, uh, you control these, you just tap it. You control the fan speed, sliding. Same way with the volume, sliding. Turn it off. Alright. So now, what we'll do is we'll get out of the car. We will go over the back seat now. Okay, so we're going to demonstrate the back seat real quick because a lot of people with these cars, they always say the back seat's not big enough. Um, just to give you a prime example, I'm 6'2. I have not adjusted my seat at all. So I'm going to get behind my seat and show you how much room we got.
What's up? As you can see, yes, my knees are hitting the back of the seat. My head is not hitting the roof. And my feet are going under just fine. So I have not adjusted this as a set to my seating position, which is 6'2". And it's still got plenty of room back here. So the back seat, also, like we were saying earlier, the door has all this wood trim on it. Back seat has the same thing on the back. It is heated back seats. Your button's back here. And just a regular outlet and ventilator. Get your panoramic. Got subwoofer and everything behind you. We got cup holders in the center and a little source. Other than that, it's a good, decent sized back seat. Okay, so we're going to show you the engine bay. We're going to do a quick start on it so y'all can hear what it sounds like. And then we're also doing an exhaust note on it as well. So now we're going to show the trunk, see how big the trunk is, and we're going to rate trunks by how many people we can fit in the trunk. So let's see how that works. So let's look at the trunk. Down here, to open the trunk, there's a button underneath, kind of right dead center at this pillar here. Push the button, open the trunk. Now that will happen, you do not have to have, you don't have to unlock it, stuff of that nature, the car could be locked. As long as you have your key on your person, you can hit that button at all times. So, just normal size trunk. Has a spare. It's not a full size spare, but it's a spare. Why they didn't put a full size in this car is beyond me. This car is freaking heavy. That's the trunk. There's a lot of stuff in it. Okay. So, we can get probably two of me in this trunk. I still got plenty of room back here. But it's a decent sized trunk. Now the fun part is getting out of it. All right, well that's all we got time for today. This was uh, 2013 Lincoln MKS. And if you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing and giving us a like. If not, please let us know in the comments. Everyone have a good day and we'll see you on the next video.